Good evening. Pi Ghoul Rules here. Welcome back to Nick or Treat. Tonight's offering gives us a fantastic episode of a fantastic show. The Rocco's Modern Life episode, Sugar Frosted Frights. After experiencing Halloween candy for the first time, Filbert goes on a sugar high. This episode, like a lot of Rocco's Modern Life episodes, plays around with cliches and expectations. Speaking of which, I bet you guys thought I was the Flying Dutchman for Halloween. <laughs> you fools. I'm obviously the Haunted Hessian. Mr. Enter was supposed to be the leg, but he said he had to do something about a Halloween list. I don't know. Anyway, this episode is just really fun. It seamlessly goes from Rocco and friends trick-or-treating to the gang being haunted by a ghost in a cemetery. And it's all so self-aware. At one point, the hippo lady says, let me get these goodies that are off screen. There's the crack in the glasses that have fallen to the ground and then a fade to black used for dramatic effect and then immediately followed up with a Christmas Carol parody? Remember how last Nygmus I was complaining that there were no Christmas Carol parodies? Well, Rocco's Modern Life did a little bit of it in this episode. When Filbert opens up the window and asks, Boy, you there, the smart one, what day is it? Then it's not too late! This episode also features the first appearance of Filbert's crazy Aunt Gretchen who would reappear in The Big Answer. One of my favorite gags is the fact that Rocco is dressed as really, really big man for Halloween, and when he goes to trick or treat, someone says he's already been there and refuses to give him candy. And it turns out that really, really big man is trick or treating as Rocco. That's the sort of weird, fun, meta gags you can expect from Rocco's Modern Life. I highly recommend this Halloween episode, as well as the episode that follows. Ed is Dead, a thriller in which they do a bunch of Hitchcock parodies. This review might feel a little bit disjointed, but it's really hard to talk about Rocco's Modern Life. It's just a genuinely funny show, and I honestly have no idea how they make the plot so random in a good way. A lot of shows, when they try to have plots that kinda go all over the place, it can go poorly, but Rocco's knows how to do it amazingly. There's also an interesting ending to this episode that I won't spoil. It's just awesome, let me leave it at that. Do yourself a favor and go watch it. Pygool rules out.